All right, so it's gonna be two videos in one day because I've already shot one video, edited it, and it's in the middle of uploading, and I suddenly realized I could do another video right here, right now, real easy for the glass art community on YouTube by talking about torches. So I've got like four torches that I can demo for you right here, right now in my shop. So let's start at the top. And we're just going to do a real quick overview so that people can see the different types of torches on the market and what's available. So let's start with a major minor combo. This is a very, or this is actually not a major minor. This is a major with an internal mix top fire. Um, the major is interesting because it's one of the only square face torches I'm aware of. Um, it's very good torch. It's very affordable. I think you can buy this combo for between like three seventy five and four twenty five or four fifty, depending on where and what accessories. Um, it's a really good starting torch. The system is really kind of cool. Uh, the top fire, since it's internal, makes you have to make sure that it's on uh, flashback arresters. You got that distinctive hiss of the internal mix, but there is one major advantage to the internal mix that I know of. One of them is that you can fume. It, it's easier for some people to fume in, in the internal mix than it is on a surface mix, but, and I've definitely noticed it's easier on these to, to learn the exact flames. You can push a lot of gas through this, it just gets really loud and annoying. At least, us surface mix freaks think it's loud and annoying. Um, here's the surface mix bottom fire, and you can actually get quite a bit of, you can get this nice little small, like, uh, goblet prep, you know, flame or something, or for working on, well, it, it, it's just, you can get pretty oxidizing fires. Pattern is pretty dang solid. You can get nice bushy annealing, and then you can really open her up and this is a really good way to go starting out. Another really good way to go that's similar to this that I can't show you because I don't have one, but. Uh, Timia Glass uses the minor mid-range combo in all of his videos, and that is actually a really interesting torch. It's got the round face pattern, and I, I actually prefer that round pattern, um, but they're both really close to being capable of doing all the same stuff. You might be able to push a little more fuel and oxygen through this. Here's a really interesting one. This is the uh, GTT Delta Elite. Um, I have it right now in my studio. It actually belongs to another glass artist I know. But because we're taking measurements because I'm going into production on specific glass tools and accessories. This is the valve body on the GTT. It's uniquely different in the fact that there's two oxygen per port system. So like the front ring of valves, this little valve, this little valve, and this little valve, are propane and oxygen for the center fire. This is, what's interesting is this is your secondary oxygen that cuts right through the center of the fire. You basically light your propane, dial it in close with this, and then you can start tweaking with this. It's important that these always be open at least a little bit on a GTT because you need the gas flow to actually cool the torch. Um, then this is the outer ring, propane, inner feed oxygen, outer feed oxygen. And basically, again, add propane and outer feed oxygen and then bring some of this in to fine-tune your flame. Uh, again, you need to have some oxygen going through these. There is a lot more to learn about flame characteristics with the GTT because there's some really interesting stuff there. Very interesting flame characteristics, very oxidizing flame possible, like ridiculously oxidizable. I'm going to go ahead and get this. I'll 
say you could burn a lot of oxygen with one of these. You can just hear that intense rush, and the, the, the heat from these things is just so oxidizingly different, it's not even funny. So that's a GTT, that's a Delta Elite, and of course it's got the center fire, you can put it on foot pedals and all that. It's a pretty cool little torch. And now we're going to get down to my preferred torch system. This is what I work with, and this is what you're going to see in most of my videos, or if not, you know, the vast majority of my videos, because this is my personal system. This system started life as nothing but a Barracuda from Bethlehem Burners. And it's evolved with me and with my needs and with my interests in glass. It now consists of two torches. The bottom torch is a PM2D water-cooled bench burner by Bethlehem Apparatus. And it's capable of producing between a 45 and 50 millimeter flame and it, it, it's hot. The Barracuda will produce around a 25 millimeter flame at most and it's capable of flowing quite a, a substantial amount of fuel and oxygen so it, it really does do pretty decent sized work. I can do more with this torch system in flame characteristics and diversity of flame characteristics than I've seen in any other system and that's why I decided I came up with this brainchild and dual stacking these torches and doing this. I wanted to talk for a quick minute about why I am a Bethlehem slut and I really am. This flame is as razor sharp as I want to make it. I'm just going to give you an idea of some of the I'm only using the center fire and I'm just showing you some of the incredible range of just razor sharp flames that I can get out of this. This thing will also give me everything from nice bushy reducing fires to just about everything's covered. And I punch it up if I need an oxidizing flame. And there's a nice, nice oxidizing flame. Let's go to bushy annealing. I just have found this system to be incredible. And then the PM2D really does for me exactly same thing, oxidizing the big bushy annealing. The PM2D is really just my workhorse for general heating. <clears throat> okay, so there's four torches that I have. Just ironically, I have them all in the studio today. You got the GTT Delta Elite, you got the Bethlehem. PM2D water cooled and you've got the Bethlehem Barracuda as well as the Nortel Major with an internal mix uh, top fire. And like I said you can go over to Timmy of Glass take a look at the uh, Nortel mid-range minor combo and you can also go over to Sunfire Glass and take a look at a National 8M. Now all of these torches are very good options to look at. And I will never tell anybody that there's just one torch. In fact, probably the in, least expensive way to get started would be what's called a hothead, which burns only propane. You don't need oxygen. The only limiting thing there is size, and you're, you're pretty much going to be working only in Moretti because you just can't get hot enough without oxygen to work in borosilicate. Borosilicate can be a more forgiving glass and is a more forgiving glass on small stuff when you're starting. But learning in Moretti can be really in your advantage because you're going to learn how glass behaves, how it, it reacts to cooling down. It teaches you more, but it can be very frustrating in the beginning because that Moretti just, <laughs> it's just like all cracking away. You put it in the fire, it bursts. Don't sweat it if you're starting out and you start with Moretti. You'll get past all those fun little things. Um, you know, I think I've gone on long enough, guys. I'm trying to keep these videos short and quick. So, to all the glass people.